Did she keep Edward forever? Oh, no. As soon as she had enough notes and pictures for her book, she let him go. Uh -huh. And did everyone like her book? Mm-hmm, they did. But it was her book on lizards that made her famous. Lizards? What kind of lizards? Well, I believe she started with some from her own garden. Hey, neat! Yeah. And then as she got more and more interested, she sent away for other different kinds of lizards. Really? Wow! One day, a package arrived from Mexico. Today, a package has arrived from Mexico. I am expecting a new lizard from Mexico, but this box seems very large. Oh. Oh, buenos dias, señorita. What an unusual voice. Me llamo Juan Iguana. Did you say something? Buenos dias. Me llamo Juan Iguana. Iguana? You said Iguana, but that's what type of lizard you are. Juan Iguana. Juan Iguana. That's your name? Oh, hello. My name is Beatrice. Buenos dias, señorita Beatrice. Oh, buenos dias. Uh, that's Spanish. Espanol? Si, señorita Beatrice. Oh, Spanish. You speak Spanish. Si, uh, señorita. Would you like to learn some English? Por favor. Oh, excellent. Uh, well, this is a box. This is a box. And, um, oh, this is a book. This is a book. Oh, excellent, excellent. And, um, oh, uh, this is a pen. This is a pen. Oh, very good, very good. You are learning very quickly. You are learning very quickly. Oh, no, no, no. You are. You are. No, no. You are. No, no. You are. I. You. You. Me. Perfect. Perfect. There. Isn't that wonderful? Mmm. Mm, very nice. You were right about your great-grandmother's recipe. It does smell better than the roses just by themselves. Uh -huh. Well, great-grandma Beatrice knew about these things. Yeah, but what about the lizard? Did he learn to speak English? Oh, yes. As a matter of fact, he taught grandma Beatrice a little bit of Spanish. Uh, buenos dias means hello in Spanish. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you knew Spanish, Egg. Well, I don't really, but some of my family comes from Mexico. <laughs> well, Juan taught Beatrice all kinds of things about lizards. Lizards like warm, sunny weather best. Warm, sunny weather. There are 3,307 different kinds of lizards. Really? 3,307 different kinds? Well, I had no idea there were that many different kinds of lizards. See, si, see, si, 3,307. Oh, Juan, this book of ours is going to be a sensation. People just don't know all of these things you're telling me about lizards. See, si, but maybe they should. Absolutely. 3,307 different species. We come in lots of different colors and shapes, and lizards are very smart, of course. Very smart. Lots of different colors and shapes. Now, I see you have scales. See, si, most of us have scales and tails. Mm -hmm. And... Legs. What about legs? Oh, see, si, most of us have legs, but not all lizard legs are as well developed as my legs. Oh, quite. Most have legs. And I can run very fast. Even small lizards are faster than most people. Even the tiny little ones? See. Si. Oh, Juan. This is so fascinating. Thank you for telling me all this about lizards. Gracias, senorita. You're welcome. Beatrice was right about that book. It was a sensation. You mean lots of people read it? Lots of people read it, lots of people bought it for their friends, and their friends read it. Everybody loved it. Huh. I guess everyone was pretty interested in the, the secret world of lizards, big and small. Uh, yeah. Hey, hey. <gasps> Did she ever write a book about blue jays? Or golfers? Uh -huh. No. As a matter of fact, she made so much money from her book on lizards that she went on a trip around the world. With the lizard, of course. Huh. But really? Juan went with her? By then, Juan and Beatrice were best friends. They were always together. They had a fantastic trip. They saw the Eiffel Tower in Paris. They went to Italy and saw the Leaning Tower of Pisa. 
They traveled to Egypt to see the pyramids. They traveled all around the world. Wow. What a story. There, the potpourri is finished. Hmm. Now do you know what we do with them? No, no. What? what? We give them to people as gifts. Oh. So would you like to go and give one to Mrs. McMurtry? Okay. She's gonna love it. Yeah. Are you going to come with us, Iggy? What? Oh, sure. Uh, Holly? Yes? I just thought of something. What? Well, my great-grandfather came here from Mexico. Yes, you mentioned that. But Holly, his name was Juan. Really? That was Beatrice's friend's name. Oh, that is interesting. Of course, Juan is a very popular name for an iguana. Yeah, yeah especially in Mexico. Well, <laughs> come on, let's go to Mrs. McMurtry's. Okay. Yeah, come on. <laughs> but I remember hearing that he used to travel all over the world. Really? Now, that is strange. Huh. Still, I don't suppose it's very likely that your great-grandfather knew my great-grandmother hmm. after you. Gracias, senorita. It doesn't seem very likely. On the other hand, who knows? As great-grandma Beatrice would have said, it's a small world. Oh.